it's been almost like a foregone conclusion, which I think is very frustrating for a lot of people. This is a Supreme Court that seems very strong when it's time to take rights away from women, very strong. When it's time to take diversity program away from college kids, very, very strong. Voting rights away from, from, from Americans, very, very strong. But now it's time to disenfranchise a disenfranchiser, and they're just looking for the exits. Uh, they can come up with an excuse to do whatever they want to, but on this one, they were trying to find any way not to do uh, what I think a normal person looking at would say, if a Barack Obama sent 10,000 Black Lives Matter people to destroy a joint session of Congress, he'd be in jail and he couldn't run for president again. It's, it's, it's just bizarre to me to watch the system continue to bend over backwards uh, as he plays his chicken game with our, with our system. He is playing a game of chicken, and every institution swerves, including the Supreme Court. Scott, do you disagree with that hypothetical from Van about what would have happened if Barack Obama had, had lost in 2012, had refused to, had refused to leave office, uh, and uh, had sent a, a, a mob uh, consisting of uh, African-American men uh, to stop the counting? Do you, do you disagree with what Van just said?